What's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got another NBA news video to go over with you guys. This time actually revolving around the Golden State Warriors and the Milwaukee Bucks. Yet again, another conversation on the Giannis at the Kumpo trade. This time actually being reported that the Warriors will need to trade Clay Thompson if they want to land Giannis at the Kumpo. And this is being reported by Anthony Slater. Now, I think this is very, very interesting news and very, very smart by the Milwaukee Bucks is this is definitely you know again they could just be saying all right well we're gonna you know try and get Andrew Wiggins or whatever if a trade like this was to ever happen I'm just gonna put it out there and say that I don't think yet yeah, the Warriors are going to be able to trade for Giannis I don't think they're going to be able to unless they get into you know trade Clay and again more on that later on I don't think they obviously you know will but again I just think this is practically impossible. The Bucks aren't going to want to trade Giannis at all. They're going to want to compete for the next two years or so with Giannis. And then, you know, whether they may even look to do a sign and trade as Giannis would get a lot more money if he did it potentially that way. But at the end of the day, this is a very smart move by the Milwaukee Bucks for, a, you know, a number of reasons. Like, they could be settling on you know, Andrew Wiggins or a couple other players here and there, Eric Pascal, but no, they're going after the big names. They aren't settling on some players, unproven players like Andrew Wiggins. For this trade to pretty much happen, they've come out and said, we want Clay Thompson. And that's exactly what they should be doing. They should be asking for the big guys for Giannis. You know, they should be saying, you know, we want Clay Thompson. Look, they could even go as far to say as we want Steph Curry. Of course, it's never going to happen. And the Warriors would never, ever trade Steph Curry. But again, it's a lot smarter. And it's putting pretty much showing how valuable Giannis is. And just saying, yeah, you know, Andrew Wiggins is fine. Eric Pascal with Andrew Wiggins is fine. You know what I mean. So, again, this is why I think this is a very good idea by the Milwaukee Bucks. To pretty much just go out there and show how Giannis is worth to them. Show how much he how much they value Giannis and how much they need Giannis and want to keep Giannis. And that the only way for them to trade Giannis is if they get an all-star like Clay Thompson and obviously a lot of picks in return, all of that type of stuff. Now, again, I said it at the start of the video and I'll say it again. The Golden State Warriors, I am 99.9% .9 sure, will not trade Clay Thompson. Clay Thompson is... One of, he is one of the best shooting guards in the NBA. Obviously, he's an all-star, but if you're looking at a player that can sit in the corner and shoot threes while putting up great defense, he's obviously the best at it, and he's possibly the best doing it in the NBA. He doesn't have that big of a role when it comes to playmaking, dribbling, all of that type of stuff, rebounding. He has a main role, and his role is shooting threes on offense, and creating space for his team, and then, you know, playing some very good defense on the defensive end of the court, which is, again, what he has been so great throughout his whole career, and has been why he's been a top three shooting guard for pretty much the last five plus years that he has been playing in the NBA. So, again, he is a very, very good player, and um, I don't think the Golden State Warriors would look to ever trade him, but let's just say it came down to it. The only way they were going to get Giannis, and they really wanted Giannis, was to trade Clay. What would it be? It would most likely be Clay, Eric Pascal, and maybe a couple first-round picks for Giannis. I'd probably say that's a little bit fair, but again, I just don't think it would be... Why? Why would the Warriors look to trade, you know, Clay Thompson? Obviously, there's a couple comments here. This trade will never happen. Don't fix it if it ain't broke. Again, so many, so many things that is so true in this scenario. I mean, why would you trade Clay Thompson? It would be an absolute ridiculous thing. And again, if they were to trade, if they were to trade Clay Thompson to the Milwaukee Bucks and the Bucks were able to get a couple first round picks, Pascal, Clay Thompson, and maybe something else, you could almost say that, hold on, that could even be a win for the Bucks because if you think about it like this, they're going to they're going to contend with you know, Giannis for the next two years if they do decide to keep him. If they do decide to trade him, it would most likely be for like Andrew Wiggins, Eric Pascal, and a couple firsts, which I don't think are going to get you in a championship frame, which is, you know, what they are right now. 
But if they were able to somehow get Clay Thompson, that would continue to keep them in that championship frame. And that would be one of the best wing duos in the NBA right now. Chris Middleton and Clay Thompson would be absolutely insane. Both good perimeter defenders and both just great three-point shooters. The spacing would be absolutely insane. And then they would have, you know, they would have Eric Blood. So it's just... I don't necessarily know who's going to create the offense. Like, you looked for the Golden State Warriors for so long. Steph Curry would have created that offense, and then he would kick it out to Clay Thompson or someone in the corner, or maybe it was Kevin Durant who would go and create the offense and create the space, and he would put Clay Thompson and Steph Curry in the corner. But if, you know, if they actually did land Clay Thompson on the Milwaukee Bucks, I don't necessarily know who's going to create that space, who's going to be that big, the taller you know, forward type of player, like a LeBron, like a Kevin Durant, like a Giannis, who's going to get these players in these big, you know, in these big spaces and get them wide open while he's drawing off more men and all of that type of stuff. Again, I don't necessarily think the Bucks really have that. I mean, there's almost so much that Eric Bloodsoe can do before he would get absolutely locked down, you know, trying to be the number one man on his, you know, offense and leading the offense's way. I don't think he just is the type of guy for that. And especially with his age and how he is going in his career right now. I still think the Bucks need... It doesn't even have to be a forward. It can be a guard as well. Just one of those players that creates the offense and is a very, very good playmaker. And can do it for 30 minutes a night. Like, again, Giannis and LeBron and Kevin Durant, Steph Curry, Kyrie Irving, Damian Lillard. Just to name a couple. These type of players and... Again, if they were able to get Clay Thompson, they wouldn't really have this player at all. So what they would probably, they could try and do, they could try and trade Eric Bloodsoe and go after a player like this. Again, I've literally got no idea who they would potentially go for. Tobias Harris would be a little bit interesting because Tobias Harris has been able to do that. He was so good at it on the Clippers where he was able to create all of these plays and be that big forward that would drive in and get tag team and then get an open shooter. He was so good at that with Danilo Gallinari and Lou Williams, etc. at the Clippers. I would think it would be actually kind of cool for if they actually look to maybe get him and partner him up with Clay. And again, that would be a super awesome starting five. Like, that would be really, really cool if they rocked out of a lineup of Eric Bledsoe, Clay Thompson, and Chris Middleton, Tobias Harris, and Brooke Lopez. That would be a very, very extremely interesting lineup. Again, that's just all a, I guess, a suggestion if this was to ever happen. But of course, I said it at the start of the video and I'll say it again. There is no way the Golden State Warriors are trading Clay Thompson. I don't even care if it is for Giannis. I just don't think they would do it. I mean, they've won so many championships with Clay and Steph and it's worked before. It's proven that it can work. Why would you, why would you, you know, again, that fa that quote, don't fix it if it ain't broke. Again, that is just pretty much how I fully see this one. And I don't think they should trade Clay Thompson at all. I think it's honestly just the Milwaukee Bucks coming out here and saying that this is who we want. This is what we think we can get for Giannis at the Kumpo, and that's just how it is going to be. Because obviously, it's better, it's better for them to you know come out and say, "Hey, we want Steph Curry, we want Clay Thompson," even though it's probably never ever going to happen. It's probably better off them saying that than saying, "Yeah, you know what, Andrew Wiggins, Eric Pascal, that will do the job nicely," because then that just shows that maybe Giannis's value wouldn't be as high as what it obviously is. And if they say, you know, it's Clay Thompson, that's who we want in return and obviously a lot more stuff, then that just pretty much sets the bar on how valuable Giannis is because Clay is such a valuable player and a valuable asset to have on a team. So I think this is extremely interesting. Again, I've said it. I don't think the Golden State Warriors would trade Clay Thompson no matter how much, you know, the Bucks said, well, hold on, we want this trade package for Giannis if we were to do a trade. It would obviously most likely never happen. But anyone to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for the latest NBA news and NBA content. Definitely don't forget to comment in the comment section down below. What are your thoughts and opinions on this? 
Do you guys think the Milwaukee Bucks should try and get Clay Thompson? Do you guys think the Golden State Warriors should try and trade Clay Thompson for Kevin Durant? Or are you guys like me and think this is absolutely ridiculous and this will obviously most likely never happen? Again, I definitely would really like to know your thoughts and opinions on this all down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my gaming channel, MIRL slash long channel. Links for them will all be in the description down below. So as I was saying, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.